uh, they can they take it up with the Court of Appeals and they actually have GPS in the vehicles to track and show when the streets are being swept. So, uh, finally, I think he's going to try to be here uh, in September to answer questions that anyone would have with regard to resident parking, as well as he's going to try to present us with some statistics as well as uh, resident parking as an issue over the past six months to a year. Yes, uh, I attended last Thursday's public safety meeting. Uh, as always, the meeting is held the first Thursday of every month here in this room at 6.30 p.m. The next meeting will be September 1st. One item I can report back on is this is a newly produced flyer by the Boston Police Department that the local police officers have been talking about for quite some time. It has to do, uh, please be courteous to our neighbors. So obviously it goes to excessive noise and it talks about how Boston Police Police officers may issue a city ordinance uh, for disturbing the peace for fifty dollars. So they are going to hit the streets and hopefully talk to landlords as well and other businesses. And hopefully that will help bring down the excessive noise issues in the North End. Also, overall crime from January first to July fourth this year compared to January first to July fourth last year in this area is down 16%. That, of course, encompasses all crime. However, if you look at the last 30 days compared to the last 30 days a year ago, motor vehicle larcenies went up by five. Uh, there was one more towed motor vehicle. Breaking and entering went down by three, from five to two. But there, that is still a, a, a huge issue, and that is one of the issues I'm most concerned about personally. Um, they, the police officers once again talked about the same type of common sense um, in tips, basically. Make sure you don't leave your windows unlocked. Make sure you have a deadbolt and whatnot. Uh, so once again, a lot of common sense things. Um, they still are utilizing Operation Crisscross where they're hitting certain streets that seem to be um, shouldering a great deal of the burglaries, especially on this side of Hanover Street, I believe. There were eight arrests over the last month. Some of them had to do with the Boston Bruins uh, celebration. So any vandalism. Um, it seemed like there were a lot of isolated incidents. There was a bank robbery, uh, Sovereign Bank on Hanover Street, unfortunately. Um, and just to give you last but not least a, a snapshot, uh, for the burglaries, in March there were 14, in April there were 5, in May there were 12, in June there were 3, and as of last week's meeting, there were 0, but apparently there have been at least 1 or 2 since then. So please be as vigilant as possible. I'm very concerned about the residential and last but not least, uh, National Night Out, uh, which is part of North End Pride Week, is Tuesday, August 2nd at 6 p.m. It's a great event, and we always traditionally have a high turnout for that event here in the North End and actually in Chinatown. Thank you, David. Silence, Committee. Uh, next month, we're going to be holding an executive committee meeting on August 15th. Uh, this meeting won't be open to the public. But the purpose of it is, is to uh, revise is it in bylaws that have uh, become very outdated uh, over the years. So the point of the uh, executive committee meeting is to tighten up these bylaws and hopefully have a more clear and concise um, bylaws going forward. And just to piggyback on that, we don't usually have a meeting in August. Traditionally, a uh, unit hasn't met in August. We won't be having a public meeting, and that's what he's clarifying that this is going to be a, an executive session meeting just to, to track the bylaws. And I will give the uh, report on the Greenway. Um, this is going to be a public meeting of the Greenway Leadership Council and the Conservative Board tomorrow. It's a joint meeting. It's Tuesday, July 12th at 9 a.m. It's on the first floor conference room of 185 Mill Street. And visitor parking will be available. And again, that's a public meeting. Um, and at that meeting, the meetings at, at plan to go from 9 to 11. And during that time, stand the board and the Greenway Leadership Council We'll be doing a walk of the Chinatown Park with the public. Public will be invited to come on us and do that walk. Um, as you may be aware, public art has been installed on the Greenway. In addition to the modern dance sculpture, which is located across from Rose Wharf, which hopefully you've all seen, um, there's been also installed Urban Garden, which is a group of three contemporary sculptures, and they are based on botanical forms. And they've been installed in the Fort Point channels. And if you haven't been down there, it's really worth it to walk down and see they're really quite exquisite. Um, opening day of the Greenway Open Market was this past Saturday, July 9th, in the Walt District Parks. 
Um, I understand that this new weekly open air class market was very successful. Um, your neighbors seem to be pleased with it, as um, were the visitors that uh, came. So the first day was last Saturday. It'll run for 11 weeks between July and September. So avail yourself of that, avail the Greenway, and enjoy that. Uh, groundbreaking ceremonies for the Mary Sulu Park in Chinatown will be Friday, July 15th at 3 p.m., and Mayor Menino will be officiating at that. Um, for those of you interested in the Armenian Heritage Park, as you know, construction um, progress is continuing on the construction. There have been a few glitches with it, so um, they had a, a, a very, uh, I guess they were anticipating that perhaps they could get it done by the winter of 2011, but it looks like now it will be more like the spring of 2012. So Master Art anticipates that they will be open and officially open the Yemeni Heritage Park in 2012, sometime around March. So I encourage you all to attend the meeting tomorrow. Bring your family, your friends, your neighbors, and tell people about it. We'd like to have a good time. So we really should come to meet tomorrow. Any questions on any of the three reports? Yes, Ian. Yeah. Um, last time I spoke with Jim, he estimated that in the North End there's approximately 1,500 uh, legitimate resident parking spots. Um, he also informed me that there's approximately 4,000 North End resident uh, stickers mm -hmm. issued. And clearly, there's uh, just a bit of a function. It's also 